Finally tonight, there have been a lot of famous graduation speakers this year, but one young man in Smithfield, Rhode Island, made us stop and listen to every word. You won't know his name. You will know the name of the challenge that makes him tend to look down. And by the way, he didn't say a word until he was five years old. Tonight, you'll also know his American heart. Out of all the students Eric Duquette may have once been the least likely to speak on graduation day. It is with great humility and pride that I stand before you as your salutatorian. I started my academic career being diagnosed with a serious learning disability, autism. My parents were told that my prognosis was poor and that I would end up, probably end up in an institution. They thought differently. Today I stand before you accepted into every institution of higher learning that I apply to. So I guess in a way the experts are right about the institution thing. Eric Douglas Duquette. Eric is on his way to college, majoring in biology. By the way, he's fluent in Spanish, too. Every day, his parents focused on just 10 words for up to eight hours a day, even teaching him sign language as a supplement. I want to thank all of my wonderful classmates who went out of their way to always make me feel wanted. All of my wonderful teachers, you made me want to come to school each day. I hope I have made you all proud. I want to thank my mother and father for teaching me that in life it is all about the choices we all make. Thanks mom and dad for the choices you made, believing in me and not giving up. I truly love you. And from the child who learned emotions with the determination that some of us learn calculus? Never underestimate the power of a smile. Do not allow yourself or others to be defined by your limitations, but rather abilities. Never underestimate yourself. Congratulations, class of 2010. Enjoy tonight, for it will soon just be a memory. Thank you. And happy graduation, Eric, and thank you.